So it's just been me and a camera going out documenting meeting veterans and getting further inspired to write The Shooter's Nail. Hi, I'm Lisa Regina. I'm an actress and I'm a writer. And I wrote my screenplay, The Shooter's Nail, because it really was inspired by my friend Eddie McGee. Eddie lost his leg to cancer when he was young and he plays wheelchair basketball. So it's just been me and a camera going out documenting meeting veterans and getting further inspired to write The Shooter's Nail. <laughs> Uh, they call me Woody. I'm the president of Firefighters Assisting Armed Force Family. I'm also an ambassador to the Gary Sinise Foundation and to the Independence Fund. And I was just talking with Lisa about wheelchair basketball for the Warriors. It is awesome. They love it. Anytime they can get out and do activities like this, it gives them, it releases those endorphins for one thing, but they love it. I mean, they like feeling like they're free. Why's it gotta be so hard? Why's it gotta be this way? A film about wheelchair basketball would really impact everyone, not just veterans. Because each and every one of us has a challenge. Leslie is right, a film about wheelchair basketball will really inspire everyone. And it'll teach us that adversity can be overcome. And then I wake up in a dream now from a life of compromise Where well, you never lost, but you never won Cause you never fought and you never moved on You never lost Shooter's Nail is a great story about love, forgiveness, bullying, and wheelchair basketball. It shows that there is life after disability. God forbid you, you get hurt driving home from work uh, one day or if you're returning home from the war and you've become paralyzed or you've lost a limb. For me it's been wheelchair basketball and the, it's been an outlet for me and it's, it's helped me stay competitive in life and it's helped me develop friendships and, and, and lifelong relationships. And the Shooter's Nail really brings life after disability uh, to life. Just like Eddie, I found strength and confidence through sports. Don't be afraid of looking. My first marathon was in New York City, and so it was, I'm going to do one, let's do it, you know, the biggest one. And it was amazing just crossing the finish line. Because it was a representation of my survival. It actually meant more to me and all of the fellow wounded, ill, and injured service members because it was actually representing our second chance. Demonstrates their abilities, not their disabilities. It's all about, you know, I'm all alone, nobody's like me. But when they get together with other people, they see what, and they can have fun with them. They can enjoy each other, and it's really great. So I think it's a great, great opportunity for the Warriors to get out, do some stuff, and share some love with each other. I can hardly close my eyes. They've learned to adapt and put that into a sport, and you know, get some of that competitive nature back. So. At an exercise or sport event to which they participated in regularly. And I'm a great believer. I've been so inspired by our veterans and the game of wheelchair basketball. Um, I especially want to share this with our teens because they're dealing with so much violence and bullying. Everybody has a past So now you got my heart racing it. A lot of kids don't go up and speak about it because they'll get bullied even more for letting people know about it. If you got somebody there, you get bullied. People make fun of you for being a rat. But you know, things like this is what unite kids. This is what make teams. When you build teams, a lot of the bullying, if you've noticed in the past, goes away. Because you're a team now. and they might be able to identify with that exactly, or at least identify with the part that makes the veteran unique. You never fought and you never moved on. You never lost, but you never won. 
like the wounds we had in war, bullying has its own wounds too. This film will provide so much hope and really show that the human spirit is resilient. supports this film, The Shooter's Nail, because I know I'm really passionate about it and it's going to send a really powerful message. So please help Eddie and please help Lisa get this film made because it really will truly make a difference.